Hey Al. Uh, if you're not uh, familiar with the Rock and the Fillmore album, it is uh, a great live album, especially the they released that box a few years ago that has I think three or four complete shows. I have it downstairs, but I haven't pulled it out in a while. Um, but it's got this opener, Four Day Creep, probably my favorite on the uh, on the album. Um, so let's go through it. This is, would be uh, the, the part that Stevie would have played. Right, that's your, the main riff. Uh, it's in E, of course, standard tuning. So it starts with... So you go through an E. Like that. And the, the second part is hammer on, just like you were doing an E chord, hammer on the G at the first fret into D at the second fret. Right? So it's on the D string, on and off at the second fret, and then a string at the second fret to your low note. So on and off on the D string at the second fret, and then on off, not hammered on, at the second fret on the A string. Second time through, he'll go. That's on the G string. Very common uh, E minor pentatonic. It's the Lenny Kraft. It's that lick. So then you're into the verse. I want you to love me like a hurricane. So between some of them, and you'll have to listen to it because I don't know which one is, but between some of them it does the, it hits that E7 sharp 9. So it's a regular E with the B and E covered at the third fret. Like a hurricane. Uh, all through those, and then uh, after the do do love me, let me fall start all over. Or actually, for some of them, it goes. like that, which he does. That's the Bring It On Home Zeppelin riff. So, slide up G string 4, B string 3. Second one's an A chord on the G and B strings at the second fret. And then it ends with just trill on the uh, G string at the first fret. I want you to love me like a hurricane. Uh, then uh, when it comes to the end of that one, instead of it, it goes. Right, so that is. Uh, Seven sharp nine. That's just E string the third fret. I do that as D A. D at the second fret, then off. 
then A. Two, one, C. Until like an A chord. But I suspect what he does is. Pete solo and, and that's the end of it really, except at the end. At the end it goes. Listen to it at the end and you'll hear how that goes. I haven't memorized that or counted it out. But uh, a good one to work on for rhythm, a nice little E lick, first, you know, a couple of frets. Good one to get uh, a feel for and, and kind of jam along with let somebody else solo over it if you just learn the stuff you don't need to deal with solos just get a uh, sort of riff rock like that down uh, if you haven't listened to the rock in the Fillmore album give it a listen it's awesome good luck